Hey, what's up turtles? Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors, and I'm really excited to share with you this pack today. It is the Wisport Woodcraft, and actually this was sent courtesy of Military First, which is a company in the UK, and some of the really cool brands are shipping to the States now that I really haven't seen too much in the US market, and this Wisport being one of them. But this is the Woodcraft. This is the brown version. It is an internal frame pack, and it's made of Cordura material, which is a really, really strong, hardy material, and I really do like this. It's retailing for $127 and change US, but now let's look at some of the details of this really cool pack. Starting, look at the front of the bag. This is called the Woodcraft, but its really purpose is to double as a hunting bag and a carrying system for a rifle. But right there, what I have right now, sort of in the rifle place, is this small ax, which is, I believe, about a 16 inch handle for size reference. Let me take that off and show you some of the details of it. So you just saw these two little buckles right here, which is meant to hold the stock of the gun or the body of the gun. I'm gonna to touch on these again because I'm really not sure. I'm super fan of these buckles and their holding capability. But ignoring that for the moment, you have this little bit of a daisy chain here, which I was using these gear ties to thread underneath and help keep this ax secure to the bag. Keeping in line with this being able to carry a rifle, the main feature of that is down here at the bottom. And there's this big zipper right there. And as I pull this material out, opens up almost like a beaver tail. And you can use your imagination putting the butt in there. I think you could even use this for a tripod, but that's sort of the main feature of this bag. There's a lot of straps and buckles on the outside of this pack, but this one I'm playing with right now buckles to the top brain of the pack, runs down here, a second buckle right here. And then this continues down to the underside of the pack to allow you to strap, strap something to the underneath, and there's two of those. Then you have a second piece of strap running the whole sort of outer and then to the sides, which, which acts as a compression strap. See right here. And you have two pockets on each side with a covered zipper track, which is really nice for debris and or keeping water out. You can see I have this stuffed really full because what's in there is a 32, 33 ounce Nalgene, the standard Nalgene size. My Clean Canteen 40 ounce does not fit in this with the cap I have. Something to keep in mind if that's the bottle you use. <clears throat> but I do like these packs for the simple fact that there's external pockets. I can carry water bottle on the outside of the pack. I have a water bottle in there and a metal cup. And on the other side, it's the same thing, a same size pocket covered track and in there just for size reference I have a Baco in its sheath I made for it just jammed in there which is just big enough. Now looking at the back of the pack, this pack is made in Poland. I believe Wispor is a Polish company that does things in conjunction with the military. So that's why you have this sort of robust material but you still get a really uh, a much nicer excuse me hip belt and load system on a more military style pack that I'm used to seeing and I really, really like that. I really like that. You have some load lifters on each shoulder strap, grab, carry, drag handle on each shoulder strap. Then you have some elastic right here and then you move down. You have a couple more places to attach things. A plastic sort of D-ring and it's the same on each strap. And then you have the sort of the rail or sliding system for the sternum strap. And I will get the pack on and show you what it looks like. And then looking at the sort of comfort on the back, you have a very nice, generous padded sort of strip on each side right here with the, with the channel right here that will promote some airflow and this padding itself will as well. I made mention to the hip belt earlier, which is a very nice wide size you can see in comparison to my hand. And I do believe you can take this off if you listen. 
There's a big hook and loop field in there with a lot of positive contact. I'm not going to take it off in the video, but if you want to, you could take this hip belt off. And then on the hip belt, no pocket. You have this piece of strap coming vertical, and then you do have a tensioner on the side that's connected to the strap and the bag. And the same exact thing on the other side, no pocket, piece of strap, piece of webbing. And here's the sternum strap. And moving to the top of the pack now in the brain, you have one pocket, compass, headlamp, pack of crackers. And Wispboard is calling this a place to carry your sleeping bag if you want to, but it's just a strap system with a buckle. Two of those up there, you could take them off if you don't want to, don't want to use them. But again, nice little feature. I don't know if it's picking it up or not, but we're getting dripped on. There is a sort of water repellency coating on this material, not waterproof. I already mentioned these two buckles. You can open up the pack. Just have an extra layer in there for the moment. And you sort of have a snow collar or a redundancy closure system, which I really like on this one on, uh, on packs. Cord lock on one. Open that up in the second one right here. And as you can see, it's a top load pack. No zippers, nothing like that. Only access is from the top. Just to show you what I have in here for some uh, spatial reference. This is a dry bag I use for food when I'm backpacking or camping. There's not much food in there now, but nice dry bag is really handy to have. I do have my rain shell. I have my synthetic sleeping bag. I did a video on this a long time ago. I don't know if they make it anymore, but sleeping bag and a whole bunch of other camping, leisure, hammock, tarp, stuff like that, bug net. So here's some stakes rattling around in there. And I mentioned this was an internal frame pack and you can see there are two stays. You can take them out if you want. They're, they're black, so they're contrasting right now, but one here, one over there. And there is a pocket then down inside this. Put my arm in there just for you to see sort of a general, about 5'9". I don't know how long that makes my arms, but if you're gonna pack this tight like I'm doing right now, you wanna make sure you have your items in your side pockets first because all the things you're putting on the inside is gonna compete for space in those side pockets. Now I made mention before about me not being a huge fan of these. I'm not sure if a, if a smaller buckle would alleviate that, but I want to show you exactly what I mean. So I have this as tight as it's going to go right now, okay? And you see when I shake this pack, pay attention to these buckles. You see how much that opened up? That's why I was using the gear ties in conjunction with these straps to keep this secure. All right, let me get this all buttoned down now so I can show you what the pack looks like on my body. So here's the pack on me. You saw sort of the order of events. I was putting that on. The buckle on the hip belt, it's not as smooth as it could be, but I wouldn't expect anything less from a more of a military inspired bag. But I just had to sort of pinch the, 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 um, the waist belt and kind of yank and got to go to each side like that and it worked fine. Load lifters, you know what I mean? Up here on my straps and then down on the side of the hip belt, pull all that tight. And it feels nice and snug and secure to my body. Now a few things about this pack. I already mentioned it a couple times, but those straps, those two straps on the front that I'm now using to hold the handle and around towards the, the head of the axe. I'm not sure if this, the buckles are too big and the handle's too small, so I'm not getting really, it's not getting tight, but that would be a really easy fix to do. You could take those buckles off altogether and just be able to tie it, cinch it, not a big deal. Also, this is built as a 40 liter pack and I'm not sold on that, I'm really not. It feels like a much smaller pack, not much smaller, maybe somewhere between 30 and 35 liters. I'm just not sold on the 40 liter 
um, spec. But nonetheless, it's a really great pack. I am really excited about it. I really haven't seen anything like it. And for the price, under $130 US, I think it's a really, really good pack. Once again, I'd like to thank Military First for sending this pack over to us. I'm not even sure who else is even carrying this pack online. So if you have any experience with Wisport, the company in general, let me know. I've been really impressed with this pack so far since I've used it. Remember, this is an overview, not a review of the pack. The review will come later down the road once it's been thoroughly, thoroughly tested and a decent amount of time has passed. If you have any other uh, maybe suggestions of what to do with those straps that aren't quite staying tight, that are meant to hold the gun and or using my axe right now, let me know. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is Crick signing out with Black Owl Outdoors. Later, turtles.